Hello and welcome to the back nine of the third round here in Brooksville, Florida. The 2024 Chess.com Invitational presented by Discraft is coming to a conclusion with just nine holes to go, Paul. An exciting battle is brewing and it's not between Anthony Barella and Ricky Wysocki like we would have imagined yeah. going into the round. We've got Aaron Goose Gossage on the chase card, only three shots back, trying to make a little push here. The first of 18 tour stops for the 2024 season. Yeah. I mean, the front nine was uh, Anthony just kind of being smooth. Has that nice lead. At one point, it was at four, but Goose, man, like you said, making a little push, playing good. He's been playing good for the last couple seasons. Yeah. Both of these guys looking for their breakout win. We were just talking about that. We were thinking about... Who are some of the best players on tour that haven't got a win? And now Matteo's finally picked up his tour series win. You could make an argument that Anthony Brella and Goose Gossage are two of the best, most consistent players over the last couple of years that still don't have that big breakout win. And here they are, the top two players with just nine holes to go into the opening event for the 2024 season. Yeah, hole 10, par three, 341, tight little bugger. Go down that right side, low ceiling. Miss that little pine, land it soft on the slope. I mean, a lot of variables go into this, but just throw it as straight as you possibly Whoa. can. That is left, and it might work for a par. Wow. I mean, that's just, a – if you're going to miss, miss by a lot, I suppose, and that's what Kyle's done, and he's well up the fairway now. Oh, look at this little move. Just missed the last things on the hill, slide up. Okay. Very good. Yeah, great shot. And he kept it low. You have to throw it nearly into the ground in this hole because the those limbs on that initial branch that lean over the fairway are just mean. They're just mean. Oh, and miss that. Oh, this is going to be really good. That oh, is so yeah. good. That's how you do it, folks. Oh, boy. And this is the back nine. Ricky, yeah. if he ha has any sort of good vibes from yesterday, look out. Oh, wait, and it's the final nine holes of the tournament mm -hmm. he usually plays pretty good in that situation joey pulls it a bit that was so close to what he did yesterday just a little bit more pulled like you said and right side trees look, look at, at this that. Yeah. yeah like that okay but i'm with you i mean ricky wysaki's certainly not out of it only five back i mean he goes eight down again oh no just needed to lay it up. Got a little greedy there. I think that was a, a oh, one of those half runs that yeah. goes awry. Yeah. Well, for, I mean, fortunately, it did not roll out of bounds. But now he has a full-on tricky approach, and he's done well to get up there. But it will be a bogey for Kyle. And that big birdie putt he just hit on the previous hole will be negated here on 10. Wow. Look at the poise, man. He is feeling so good on the greens this week, Paul. That was a great putt. I mean, that's one you hit the rim barely, goes up in the chains, comes out up oh, a little squiggly wobbly. Sure. I mean, down look, the hill. look where the basket is. I mean, it is immediately on the hillside. So if you're right side at all, I mean, if you stay, you got lucky. If you roll, that's what should happen. Yeah. Ricky, big putt there to not lose any more shots to AB. Bogey for Kyle. He's pretty much out of the mix. Oh, yeah. I think a podium finish is still well within his grasp, and that is such a huge honor these days in the sport. I mean, top 10 is great. Top 20 is really great in our sport. But getting on the podium, something to always fight for. He's only a few shots off that pace right now. Well, 11 is a fun little par three and just really showcasing the beautiful trees and the nature out here. It's got a little bit of everything, even though it's a shorter par four, only 491 feet. You want to find yourself somewhere in this mulch area on the road as it goes up dog leg left. It's a very short distance from there to the pin, but it's completely blind, even on the elevated basket. You're just trying to go about 50 feet past that rock or anthill, whatever that is at the top of the hill. They did a really good job on this course of having the short par fours be very difficult. I mean, even though yeah. this is one of the easier holes on the course, like Anthony Barella's drive right there looks great, doesn't hit a thing. He's going to have a very tricky upshot up the hill. Not a lot of distance to cover, but 
you just got to be so precise. That and, is precise. Both Anthony and Ricky's shots are really what they're exactly what they're trying to do. I think you don't think Anthony went a little too far. I think he's he, he's not too far. It, it's it maybe isn't ideal, but oh. I'm surprised we haven't seen more of that this week. Honestly, there hasn't been a lot of shots that have just directly struck the Spanish moss and been thrown off course, but that was one of those cases right there. Hasn't been Kyle Klein's day thus far. Pretty buttery little up shot there, right in position. It's where a really good drive would land. So he's still got work. And Kyle has to go an alternate route off to the left. Things can get squirrely from here. I don't quite know where that one finished. Behind a bunch of stuff. And this is just perfect. Put, yep. a, put a little Annie on it. Doesn't. Ooh, that leaks right. And maybe gets away with it, but I think he's going to have a very tricky run from inside the circle. Yeah, see, this was a perfect drive, but he still has to get some Anheuser. Oh, no. Yeah, that he's. it's so easy to do that, to outdrive the shape yeah. of that shot. It's, it's just such a quick rise to the top of that hill. Meanwhile, Joseph has played this very well after the unfortunate Spanish Moss tree kick. He has worked his way up there for an easy tap in par. I'm guessing Joey plays a lot of 250 to 280 foot par threes. His putter shots are Oof. on point. That is not, though. Yeah, Kyle has found himself in a whole lot of mess. And it will be back to back bogeys now. Kyle slip in the opposite direction. He, he looks like he's trying to manufacture some kind of run at this, and that worked out okay. I don't like that. But, yeah, he doesn't need to make that, and he's got to know that. Ricky does, though. Yeah. Uh, uh, just, is that a... I'm not going to, I don't want to go into this. I think he was inside the circle. I think that was a falling putt. He fell forward there. But I don't know if he was inside the circle, so I don't want to start any controversy. It just looked like it. Well, the uh, camera adds 10 pounds. So. <laughs> By that metric, Ricky was, was he outside the circle or inside the circle? I don't, I'm not following. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he threw me off there, buddy. 10 Ten pounds. You're just saying Ricky looks overweight on, on <laughs> Joe's camera right now. Okay, got it. <laughs> AB with a solid par save. That's really the important thing to take away here on 11. Surprising to not see any birdies after Ricky and Anthony's drives were really good. But the Put, lead has grown to yeah, four. pushes it up there. Looks like we had bogey from... Well, AB's birdie on 10, I think, is what get him the four shots. Okay, okay, we missed that. And we well, go I to 12 that. now, downhill, 563 feet. Yesterday, we saw AB hit the base with the big forehand. It takes so much power. Even with the big elevation drop, you still have to get it out there so high and wide and fast. See if he's able to recreate the magic here in the final round. Looks pretty similar, Paul. Yeah, it's so tough to tell. Gosh, that looks so oh, good. Oh, that's good. Oh, man. Bullseye. Back-to-back <laughs> mm -hmm. -back bullseyes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, that's one thing with Anthony. We've <laughs> talked so about good. his putt getting a little wacky down the stretch, but I've also noticed as Ricky lines this one up, and is it this is too tight, I think. I think it's just, yeah, too high, too tight. Like AB kept that a little low and dri drove through yeah. the fairway. But I noticed that his sidearm gets a little wonky too. A little too much turn, a little too mm. much speed, not as much control. That was crisp. Very crisp. And actually, even though Ricky was a little inside, that's still a decent look. Yeah. Joey's going with a more flip-up style here, and I like that for the glide. And I mean, look at the result there. Inside the circle, I tell you, that is a huge shot. Yeah. 
I think he's just outside the circle. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. just outside the circle, but still right around Circle's Edge, and that's just sky high. There's just no, no. nobody in our sport can get to this hole that high off with the forehand. I mean, that was a pretty good result, honestly, just because it didn't get into the crud on the on the right. Going with the turnover, which is kind of bizarre to me. Yeah, Kyle's just out of sorts right now. He's got to find himself coming down the stretch here, especially these are the easier holes right now. Ooh. Ricky almost picks up the big birdie. Needed that one. Needed it for sure. Joey trying to maintain that top 10 spot. To, uh, uh, the par streak now grows to six for Joey Buckets. Mm. That's a good save. Good delivery. Still don't think he's missed the putt in the circle. You did see him miss a couple putts in the front nine, but they were, I think, all in C2. That's always good because you know you're going to eventually get looks, and if you're putting well, that can clean up a lot of the mess in the meantime. Give you AB something to rely on for sure. Knocks down his little bullseye putt. And that lead is growing. Yeah, if you're in the Wysocki camp, you don't want to see A.B. park that one. But uh, it's just, he's so good. It's hard for him to not park it. This is another guy whose forehand is just built for holes like this. Mm -hmm. This one is it. flipped up straight. Is it going to hyzer in time? It's going to be deep. It's a good tree, kind of. Give himself a look. 50-footer. Let's see where the goose is with these long C2s. We've seen him drill a lot of these last season. Maybe a bit high, but certainly wide right. Yeah, you can tell he's a little frustrated. Wow, a little meat on the bone, actually. I didn't think it went that far. These are the ones that have really been tricky for, for him in the past, and mm -hmm. just never felt comfortable there on the yeah. green. He's a really good C2 putter, but sometimes those those guys who like to put a lot of pop on their putts get a little bit sketchy on the shorter yeah. ones because they have they they putt so hard. Yep. Backing off is not an easy thing to do for everyone. And that lead is ballooning now to six. A B. Wow, six strokes. Wow. Out of nowhere. Brought back by popular demand. Z light plastic from Discraft. Disc that you already know and love, now available in lighter weights. Z Light, more distance with less effort. On to hole 13, another one of these. Well, it's really only the, the there's only two, I think, short par fours, and this is the second one. Hole 11, hole 13, but this one's 468 feet. Want to get over to that right side hill. And then from there, it's a pretty straight open shot to the elevated basket here. The problem is it's pretty technical trying to get all the way to that right side. Forehand for most, backhand mid or fairway driver for others, maybe even a roller. Just get it to the right side. Nothing fancy. See what I mean? That's a crispy little shot right there. Yeah. That, that perfect is. angle, perfect speed. I mean, I even go back to the European Open where he had that one into, into the green, and it was, mm -hmm. it was all over the place. Yeah. Rick, this is a little wider than you want, but gets the skips. result. It's exactly where you want to be. Right it's, there for both of those guys is just exactly where they want to be. Yep, little sidearm anheuser from there. Yep. Joey going to flip up, just challenging these trees here. Misses the first two. Good. And a great forward roll. You'll take that. Ten feet more right wouldn't hurt, but he should be able to find something. And there is the roller play. Okay, he's got the skinny little gap. That oh, is a germ. nice little nugget. That, <laughs> that was so a smooth. sick shot. So skinny. 
such a hard gap to commit through, but he is so good at those gap hits. Got to keep this low. That's high. Well, the good thing for him is that wall oh, is wow. pretty forgiving. Wow. Forward towards the basket as well does not hurt. Yeah, that was a good 30, 40 feet offline, but gets the good ground play. If he sticks up there on the hillside. That's very a, awkward. Very awkward. Bump, yeah. Especially with the high rise. Joey having to go backhand, just not far enough right for the forehand. Smooths it through there as well. That was a tight gap. Yeah. Very well executed. Ricky actually left this a bit short. Yeah, maybe for like the normal human beings in the world. No, well, we did see him, see him miss a shorty on, on the first couple it's holes. It's the back nine. It's it's Ricky time. He's cleaning those up. Yeah. You're 99 right. times right. out of 100, that thing is going to be not center. a gimme, though. No, certainly not. You know what I mean, though? It's like... Oh, I do. Yeah. It, like, he leaks those out, like, second round hole seven. You know, that's when he, like, just... He just gets a little unfocused for a moment, but like he really clutches up in these important moments. And I think he understands how dire each one of these strokes is coming down the stretch. Goose way left here, a little out of position. What has he got? Sidearm roller? No. Yes, Paul. Oh, he's well, going to have to work for it. That's going to be right at circle's edge. Same spot Ricky was just at. And see if he's able to follow up that short miss with the pace that we're talking about. That's the range that he likes. The poor man's leg is just getting beatings left yeah. and right. I mean, made putt or miss putt, that leg is getting hit. That's the way it goes. We got Niklas Ansela, who's on a heck of a stretch. Oh, oh, hello. No way. Nice little highlight. That's it. That is a sick putt. Well done. In a star frame on 13, I don't recall another star frame no. on Lee Card ever. This, I, it may be on 15, one of the rounds. I don't remember if yeah, no, there was I, a star frame. I don't think so. It's a, I don't remember it, that. Dun, dun, dun. It's, a, it's a hard course to get star frames on. Yes. I will say that. Hole 14 is a par 4, 764 feet. Dog leg left. Get through the gap. Make making your disc go left off the tee, but just avoid going too straight. Or go over the gap. We will see one of the players doing that. Well, it looks like he's looking down the middle right now. Yeah. Now that's like half and half. Oh, wow. That is... Now we know why he was going over. Some, some holes just don't set up well to the eye. Yeah, yep. So Ricky, like a shark, sensing blood in the water, throws a great drive around the corner into Perfect. that little dip in the fairway. It's right where you want to be. That'll set up, a, set up a pretty fairly routine forehand for probably 330 for Rick on his next. I like how simple Anderson's form is. Just pretty mm -hmm. simple. It's not flashy and Anyway, but he's oh. real. He's maybe one of the best at the not flashy style of disc golf. Can this get under the limbs? Yeah. Can you think of anyone else that's like that? That's just looks like the best player at your local club, but like so good that it's actually really good on tour as well. That's what he reminds me of. It. Yeah, and it's not supposed to be an insult. I hope it wasn't taken that way. No. A lot of different ways to get it done. He's on the lead card uh, yeah. playing against Ricky, who does it a completely opposite way as a Barilla, who does it a completely different. And that's a saucy little four. And I thought it was going to turn a little bit more to the left. And that's going to be a tricky putt from outside C1. AB throws a really nice second shot. That gets him well down the fairway. Yeah, this one's this is, leaking to that left side. Oh, no, that's golden. Okay. 
Looked like he was pushing that left side a little bit, but I think he got right in front of it, maybe. Yeah, pin high left 20 is terrible. You have a big tree that's just making any putts impossible. So you have to, if you're going to miss on one side, you prefer short and right. Ricky putting himself circle's edge. Right behind the tree, though. This is a big up and down. You don't want to give away any bogeys. Miss that tree. You know, just if, yes. I feel like a bogey in this situation is like one of those moments where you're like, okay, really? Now I'm going to get a bogey? Yeah. And like you maybe start to doubt yourself. Not the time to do that. AB with a good shot there. Important putt for Rick. And he takes it. Okay, now Ricky's tied for second. Kyle with a little awkward one. A good birdie. Yeah, it was, to be fair, it was a little left. I thought that he wasn't going to have that tree in the way, but able to work around it, get the birdie putt in. AB with a good par save. And Joey will just tap it in. Joey still tied for ninth place, still hanging in there in the top 10. Yeah. Kyle Klein, even though he kind of, the wheels are kind of falling off there in the middle, is still tied for fifth place. Not out of the realm of possibility to still finish with a podium. 15, par 5, 934 straight down the hill. I mean, just a beautiful hole. Throw it as straight as you can. I don't care with what disc. Mid-range goes pretty dang far on this hole. Fairway goes a little bit farther. Driver's going to get you way down the fairway. Driver's tougher because it usually leaks left, so you bite off a lot of the fairway, and then you're going to have to chip to the mouth. I think fairway or mid-range is your best play for eagle. Here's that fast driver. It's leaking a little. Can it get the ante? Yeah, yeah, it looked like he was trying to force the ante, and it just it came out of his hand a bit early, and I think that... You wanted to just get that thing to ride over to the right side of the fairway a little bit more. This one looks a little heavy on the hyzer as well. It is, but that's fine. Should yeah, it's be very able workable. To put that in a good spot. This looks left side flipping. Flipping. Flip. Beautiful. Can't place it in a better spot than that, really. That gives him a play at the at the green if he wants it as well. Mm -hmm. That is that far. Yeah. Mid range. Oh, this is that disc that he is just not throwing bad. <laughs> wow, look at that. See, so mid range fairway driver, same spot. Kyle, Annie, just a placement shot. Get to the bottom of the hill. Do a little work from there. About 400-foot shot from there into the green. Maybe a little less, three, 380 to get all the way to the hole. Joey gets it over. I like that, kind of bleeding off that right side where the OB is. Puts himself just in circle two. Great shot. Now, AB, what is he thinking to himself here? He's thinking just get around the corner and go left. We talked about this yesterday. This is a smart play just to beat the corner and give himself the easy birdie and not try to – the sucker play is going for the equal in this situation. He's got oh, the absolutely. strokes he needs. Absolutely. And Ricky's not pushing up the fairway. He's the he's in solo second right now. So now he's got eyes on the guy who's right. pushing him. Right. He can just go little chess match. Yeah, you do that. I'm going to just Especially match you. Especially they have the most holes remaining. So yep. they get to see what happens there at the end. Isn't that crazy how Ricky just does that? Just he does was it, just man. way out of it, and now he's in second. Like, it's just, to me, it's just Calvin 2023. Yeah. Calvin just... All season long, it's just like he's not playing well, and it's like he's in second place. 
what's going on? How does he do that? Joey? Getting flirty with it? Uh, gives it an honest yeah. bid. Great effort. Kyle needs this one. And he Ooh. gets it. A good right side catch. He's putting so good. Really well. Yeah. Got to give a little shout out to three guys who were able to get multiple eagles on this hole. Simon Lazat got it twice. Garrett Gerthy got it twice. And you guys already know that Aaron Gossage eagled this hole twice the first two rounds. Wasn't able to eagle at the last round. Got a Matty O sighting. I love that we're showing Matty O in this hole because this is the Matty O hole. He said this is his favorite hole in the state of Florida. <laughs> you gotta give him a shout out right now because he is <laughs> at 12 flash. under. It's. Look at this guy. He's doing his thing, man. He's got the croquis on this year, which I, I told him he was a little bit of a sellout. Like, the glasses flying off the head is a signature Matty O move. But he's got the croquis on, but his mom got it for him, so he said he has to wear it. Okay, spoiler, folks. I just don't know what we're going to show when we're going to show, but we got Aaron Gossage's big, big drive, and now we get to see how he was able to eagle this the first two rounds. I mean, he's going huge off the tee. And, oh, that tuft perhaps saved him from going out of bounds or no? It might have or it might have hurt him. Could have got him over the circle, circle's edge maybe. Oh, boy. Oh, so close to Triple Eagle City. Went for it, too. Oh, and this comeback could have go five under in three rounds on hole 15. And that's a big birdie he knows that puts him at 14 under. Just one shot shy of Ricky Wysocki. Seems to be a little too, little too late to catch the lead. Six back of AB with just three to go. But crazier things have happened. Well, 16 has been the nemesis for AB in the past, just on a different course and different day. This time, it's just a shot about 370 to the landing zone and then a slight turn to the left. You have OB all down the right side. But you can't really get to the pin unless you are in that sweet spot. Ricky's been going very overstable, but he's switched this. This is actually more understable. And I, I like that play. Sit. Because that gets him to a spot where he's not... The closer you get to the left you have to be in a very exact spot. If you're on the right side, it really opens up your angle. You can do really dealer's choice from yep. back there. Ooh, how overstable is it? Uh, enough. Yeah, as long as it's not too far. That If you go too far, you almost are like left with just a flick roller. Ooh. And an unfortunate that's, that's, limb. It's okay, though. Stays in bounds. And he gets two meters relief from there. And it actually, since it's so far right, he might have a play for the green. Yeah, I think he will. That's just buttery right there. Oh. And a little close. I think he still gets two meters even from the gate. I don't know. Love to see this angle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he sees the whole gap. And he's throwing... Oh, no! Oh, brutal kick. That, that was rude. It was a good release. There's yeah, just that it looked one like it was going, going home. And I guess since it's not barbed wire, he's only getting one meter relief from it. Might have cost him, too. Yeah, not being able to step into that shot threw off perhaps his timing. Little standstill for Ricky. Annie, is That's it so good? Is it perfect? That is so good. Yeah. That is really well controlled. It's gonna get him to 16 under. Man was born to play disc golf. 
Yeah. You see, like if you go too far, it, you, I mean, look what Kyle has to do. He's got to, he's got to throw over the vending area. Like that's just so far. Ooh. It does pretty well with it. Yeah. I don't think he's going to have a look at it. He might. I don't think so either. This is tricky. Yeah, very tricky. Very tight turnover. That is really well done. Oh, wow. Really well done for AB. That That is you an easy shot to yeah, pull right. You don't want to bogey this one and give two and only be up three. No. 17 that, that is, is seventeen's a danger hole. It was designed specifically to create drama. Good shot. All right, where is Kyle? Okay, he does have a little a little stab at it, especially with his style of putt. Just no height. Yeah, unable to really get any power behind that. And uh, unnecessary extra rollage. Oh. Got a stick in the back there. You don't like straddle putts. That's something I know about you. Hate them. What happens if you got a stick in the back and the way to cure it is to just straddle? For you specifically. Are you just trying to imagine the I situation? Just miss it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you just do your normal putt and you just intentionally <laughs> miss it? <laughs> I, expect, I don't know why I didn't expect you to say that, but that was a good answer. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, back to the to the disc golf tournament. AB's sitting pretty comfy. Four up, two, two pars, to go. Two pars, that's what you got to think. Two pars. Give me two pars, please. Two pars, it's over. I mean... Yeah, you, you can't even say two bogeys because no. these two holes can be birdied. Mm -hmm. Really, just one par, one bogey should seal the deal. Yeah, two pars, though. Yeah, two pars would be great. The hole 17 is hard to just play for par. The tee shot is so it, specific. The par on this one is bigger than 18 right now. If you get a par here, yeah. driver's seat, 100%. Totally. Um, Ricky's going to have the box, so he's going to have the control to put a little pressure on. This is essential that he puts this in bounds. Oh, oh, early release low. But the skip is oh, out, of out of bounds. It is. Oh, that's huge really for Anthony. Big. And there is a spot at the top of the hill. So AB definitely knows that the guy that's four shots behind him is now out of bounds off the tee. This hole plays a quarter over par. So... Good indication of now, how difficult it is. That is a perfect shot from Kyle. Now, do you... Well, he's going over. I was going to say there is a play to the top, play around, but he just wants to hit that gap. I, just, I think you go for it. Yeah, this is awesome. This is... If it slows down. If oh, it slows down. Oh, no. And there is OB on the backside that AB has found. Now, I, I don't know how deep that OB line is, so he might have a play to still lean out and throw like a forehand and hyzer and get himself a look for the par. I'm not sure. Oh, that is a brutal break. Oh, no. I hope that they, they should give him the other side. I th They must. That is a bad break, though. It's on the, the disc flip. is dry. It's on the flip. What side does your disc flip on? That is a brutal break. Okay, so... Well, I mean, if you want a drama... You know, we're getting some of it here. Ricky Wysocki. I mean, this is just bogey territory. There's nothing you can do from there. Whoa. Whoa. There's nothing you can what? do. What? Uh, where is that? Th that's, that's where he made his putt feet? yesterday from. That's 70 feet? That's no, that's less. Yeah, that's 53 feet tops, I think. Wow. That is insane to going over the reeds. Through the tiny gap, just willing himself to have a look for par. Wow. In the most Ricky Wysocki fashion possible. Now the pressure's on AB. Again, just get. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Great kick. 
get a bogey. Just walk away with the bogey. Yep. Bogey's the same thing at this point. Ricky can't get can't get a birdie. So take yeah, the bogey. Take the bogey. Get up top. All right, Kyle, that's just how you play the hole. With the new rules on 18, it's all about the first shot if you have three. Yeah. With that in bounds, right. you're guaranteed Then you can just automatically, you can throw it out of bounds on, on purpose. purpose. Yeah. yeah. And then go up to the drop zone at the top, lay it up, and walk away with your win. But first things first, just take care of the simple stuff. Wow. Slow down. Okay. That's a little. It's okay. 20, yeah. 25 feet. Yeah. Ricky from 60. Come on, man. Come Rick. on, dude. Ricky from 60. <laughs> what is this, dude? What is this? That is the will of a champion, oh. man. Oh my gosh. Why does he always the do that? Oh my gosh. The guy holding up the castle, too. Was that a gift? The guy just gave you a castle, Ricky. Pay attention. Oh, what a putt. Great save from Joseph. Yeah, no doubt. He deserved the birdie. I mean, that was a great tee shot. Definitely didn't deserve bogey. Great putt there. And AB having to slight straddle out to the left side a bit. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Tell you what, this is going to be one of the hardest 12-foot putts he's ever made in his life. That is a okay. good putting stroke, but man. I don't know where he's a double bogey. In. <laughs> why why got, does not, this happen every time? It's Ricky Wysocki, man. That's what he does. I think it's the combination. It's the raptor <laughs> legs, man. Um, this guy's still got a story to tell. Aaron Gossage off the tee on 17. This is early, but does it have the right pace? Yeah-ish. No. no. So that will end his chances of winning. But look at this turnover forehand. Oh my goodness, what a shot from there. Uh, great par save. But no now leg that, slap. Kind of disappointing. Didn't see the leg slap. I don't slap. think that necessarily means he's out of it. He gets a birdie on the last hole. He gets a 16. Okay, I'm sorry. He's at 18 now. Yeah. If he posts 16 under. I mean, AB did double bogey this in the ripping total... wind. And it's it certainly is. If you go out of bounds off the tee, that's what that I'm drop saying. zone is no gimme. Yeah, uh, yeah you're 100% right. I mean, this is, this is a hole that can just as easily be birdied as it can be double bogeyed. Guess who has the box? Ricky Wysocki has the box. I wasn't a guess. I know that for a fact. He puts this in bounds. That's pressure on AB that he's never felt before. We're going to watch goose. the goose. Going forehand, taking some speed off, just getting around the corner in the sweet spot. That's a great drive. Huge over the top forehand. Oh man, that, that guy has so much power. And he threw his second shot so much harder than he threw his first shot. And he hit the leg, took care of that early. Drills the putt. Watch out, world. Aaron Gossage. So close to winning worlds a couple years ago. Hey, who has the box? Oh, okay. Dang it. I thought you were talking about between the two people that are in the hunt. Kyle Klein out of bounds. Okay. 
now for the in very important shot of Ricky Wysocki. This is left. I love it, though. You it's, do? Yeah, because he put enough power behind it and the height. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, like, with his power, he can throw it high and never go long. And, I mean, and it didn't look like he sawed it off early, so that's what you have to do in this hole. Joseph throws a very different style for him than Ricky, so this is it's a hard read after seeing Ricky's good tee shot, but I like what he's done here. Oh, oh straddling the line. This time the break is on his side. He is inbounds. That's a great drive. Just do your routine, A.B. That looks great. Yeah, it doesn't even need to watch it. He knows that's exactly what he's done in practice. Gives it a little fist pump, but it's yep. still not over. Definitely not. Definitely not. Next shot has to... If he gets in bounds on the next shot, over. it forces Ricky to make it. Yep. This is the shot of the tournament. To seal the win. I like the hyzer. Oh, it looks so good. So good. And what a what a way to step up and put all the pressure on Ricky. That oh, nearly seals that. a deal. And what a what a weight lifted off his shoulders. If Ricky is unable to make this, he knows he can lay up and capture his first pro title. Pro tour title. Go in. Look at this thing drifting right. Beautiful shot from Kyle. All right, we got the Conrad effect. It's <laughs> yeah, never over. For sure. Ricky's going backhand. And it's not going to go no. in. That's, uh, that's it. That's going to be it. Ricky more than likely a birdie, and I do not see a world in which A.B. <laughs> risks it from 28 feet. I'm sure he'll lay it up right under the pond and tap in. What a big moment for the young fella. Been so close so many times. Yeah, and Joseph needs this birdie. This, will this get him in the top 10? Yeah, he's tied for 11th right now. Incredible. Judging by my math. One birdie's a little better than that. Well, sure, but I mean, will it jump him up to the 10th? Is it a one-stroke separation or multiple strokes? I'm saying he could take 11th by himself, or maybe he ties for 10th. Yeah. It's not important. No. Run it. Check me. Nuts. And in the end, Ricky needed eight under on the back nine. What a fight for Ricky, though. He just That's is never out of it. Never out of it. He's a, AB's only going to win by one stroke <laughs> after all that. I mean, he, he was up by five or six strokes, and he never like six. really threw anything away. I mean, he took the yeah. double bogey on 17. is a great score. Nothing but love there from Ricky. He knows what this moment means for Anthony. And there are his touring buddies. And Paul. <laughs> I'm just messing. <laughs> Mike Wagner. Bobby Julio. Austin Turner. Sharing the moment with our good buddy, Anthony Barella. Congrats. Anthony, your first Elite Series win. How do you feel? It's just unbelievable. I've been waiting my whole life for this, and all the losses are worth it now. This feeling's amazing. Hole 17 came. You go out of bounds long. Ricky also goes out of bounds. You almost go out of bounds on your second shot, and then Ricky hits an enormous putt in your face. How are you feeling in that moment? Um, it, was, it was crazy, honestly. I was just... 
I was just worried about my putt. Ricky hitting that was huge, it was crazy. That hole just confuses me, I don't, I don't understand it. I can't seem to play it right, but I don't know. I felt pretty confident. I was just pushing through. I knew I was throwing the disc well. I knew the shot was gonna come down to hole 18, and I've just been playing that shot over and over in my head, and I executed it, so yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, it got a little shaky down the stretch, but that comes with the nerves, and if you're not feeling them, you're not, you're not loving what you're doing, and I love disc golf. And it makes me happy. Anthony, one last chance. So many people from Arizona all over the world now watching you, rooting for you. What do you have to say to them? Um, I just have the best support group back home, all my friends, my family, my girlfriend. And just thank you to them for always pushing, and it just feels great to finally do it for them. Paul, I, I gotta say, knowing Anthony Burrell as long as you have, seeing him come up the ranks, it's gotta be a special moment for you as well to see one of your disciples coming up and just really showing up a big time. No, oh, absolutely, man. I mean, we've been waiting a long time for this. We always knew it was gonna happen. When was he gonna get over that last round nerves, jitters? And he, yeah. we knew it was a matter of time and for him to do it at the first tournament of the season says a lot about him. He's been working on it in the off season, working on his mental game. I mean, watching him grow up from an eight-year-old yeah, bouncing around it's and just, so cool. you know, hanging around me, um, just following following all that stuff is just amazing to see him grow up into the man that he is and the champion. So it's really cool. Yeah, man, I, I got to say, I haven't known him nearly as long as you have. I haven't played, I haven't battled with him in Arizona like you did growing up, but I've known him since he was, you know, waist high, you yeah. know, and, and just seeing him as a kid running, running around throwing the minis and just being all excited about disc golf, him saying it's a lifelong dream, you know it's true. He's been around disc golf pretty much his whole life, and it's a big moment for for the sport and also just for Arizona and specifically Anthony Barella. So congratulations to him. Absolutely. I mean, and kudos to Ricky, making him earn it. You know what I mean? Like, that, feels better. It, it's got to feel better to yeah. have one of the greatest players ever, one of the um, track down, find you, mm -hmm. final round, even has to get past the double bogey, the Ricky putt. I mean, that all makes it a thousand times better for him, I'm sure. Uh, man, watch out, world, because that kid's good. Well, that's going to wrap it up for here, for us here in Brooksville, Florida. We'll see you in a couple weeks at the Waco Annual Charity Open. Four-round event, two on the traditional beast course, and then two on a brand-new golf course. So it's going to be an interesting challenge there. We'll see you in a couple weeks.